seven yellow wheels, I tell you. No. Get drunk in the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, you lose all control. You ain't got no control. You take that lesson and everything, throw it somewhere. You don't care about no control. You just want to talk to the Lord. Huh? All right. Well, let's bless the Lord today. life 
And that light was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Verse 14, the word became flesh, that is, and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. I want to teach today, I am a witness. Yes. Amen. Uh, Amen. I am a witness. Amen. Tell them, say, I am the evidence. I am the evidence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Most High God. I am a witness. That's right. Yes, sir. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness to the goodness of God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Not enough volume. I know I am a witness. I'm a witness. I am a witness. Amen. That God is a forgiving God. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I, I, I am a witness. I am a witness that God is a restorer. Yes, amen. Yeah, yeah. I am a witness that God is a rescuer. Yes, God. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, He's still rescuing my life. Yes, amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I am a witness. I am a witness that I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthens me. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> because I am a witness that all things are already inside yes. of me. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. I'm a witness that I am strong because the Bible testifies that it told Joshua, be strong yeah. Yeah. and courageous. Yes. So I am a witness yeah. that I am strong because in periods of my life when it appeared that I was weak, that I am strong showed up. Amen. Amen. I am a witness. Amen. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a witness that God is a merciful God. Yes. I've seen it in my own life and I've seen it in the life of others. Yeah. And God has been very merciful. Amen. I am a witness that God is compassionate. Amen. Yeah, I've seen it in my own life and seen it in other people's life. Yes. That God is compassionate. Yes, right. I am a witness that God is loving. I'm going to come on yes, your Lord. I'm a witness that God is loving. on me. Yeah, in spite yeah. of my actions and my wrongdoing, yeah. I am a witness yeah. that he is a loving yeah. God. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm a witness. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a witness that it don't matter what life throws you. Yeah. It's all in how you play the hands yeah. that you've been dealt. Yeah. I'm a witness that God taught us how to play cards on first. Yeah, yeah. 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 because yeah. every once in a while you'll get a bad hand what appears to be. Go ahead. But you ain't got to let the devil know that the hand you've been dealt is bad. Yeah. But if you'll play that hand like it came from the throne yes. room of grace, yes. you will overcome this thing. Oh. I am a witness. I'm a witness that God can turn a situation around that looked like it wouldn't have turned around. I am a witness. I am a witness of what you were chasing to turn around and start chasing you. Yes.
Yeah, I'm the evidence. I'm the evidence. That's why he put me here. Yeah, yeah that, that's why he put me here. Yeah, I went through hell so you could see it's possible to come through it. Hey, I got no help with help that. No, I went through hell so you could see. So I could be a testament for you. So you can see that it is possible to go through hell and come back strong. Yes, yes, yes. I am the evidence. Yes. Uh -huh, yeah, I, I'm the evidence that it looked like your marriage is going to hell on the hands that Jesus, right. That God can come and restore what it looked like it won't go be nothing else no more. Hallelujah. Yeah, I am the evidence. Oh, yeah, hard times, they don't stick around long. Hallelujah. When you put your focus yeah. on the master. Yes, sir. That's a word for somebody right yeah. there. Hard times don't stick around for long. Yeah. When you put your focus on the master. Yeah. Huh? Because yeah. when I put my focus on the master, hard times got to pack his bag and leave. Yeah. Yeah. Hard times yeah. only able to stick Ooh. around if I keep my focus on it. Yeah. But once I shift my All focus right. and put it on the master, all, right. all yeah. the good stuff got to show up. That's right. I wish there was somebody out there like right that that could testify that hard times was once trying to stick around. But then you got a revelation. I'm about to shift my focus. I'm about to focus on the one who saved me. I'm about to focus on the one that gave his life for me. I'm about to focus on the one that takes good pleasures in me. That's all. It's Christmas time. Take that to Christmas time. Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. And, and everyone is, 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 is preparing. Is preparing. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is in preparation. Everyone is, is making their list. Some, some of us made out of this, you know, months and months ago. And some of us, you know, behind the eight ball and just made the list. Yeah, yeah. Glory be to God. <laughs> There's some behind the eight ball. So you got some that's in front of the eight ball yeah. and some that's behind the eight ball. Yeah, yeah. But how many of you know that God will Still, answer all. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so we're preparing. We're preparing. We're preparing. But God's saying now, I need you to understand, but don't miss the true me. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Don't miss, don't what? Don't miss this. Don't miss what's already been prepared before time. Jesus. God made your life in the beginning. He made your life. He designed your life on purpose. Yeah. So everything about your life, watch this, is purposeful. Yeah. Everything about it, everything about your life serves a purpose. Because God placed you here for a specific purpose. He puts you in for a reason. You ain't get here by accident. Right. You ain't get here because your parents were hot. Gotta give y'all a little laugh. Yeah. No, 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 no. That ain't the reason you got here. That ain't the reason. They were hot already yeah. before yeah. that. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, no, 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 no. You got here for a purpose. Yeah. God placed you here for a specific purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have to understand. Watch this now. Yeah, I'm saying I cannot lose the true meaning of what the holiday season really is all about. Amen. Yeah. It's about me being on me. Come on, yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm back there. I'm taking to the old school preaching yeah, today. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It's, it's about me being a witness. Yeah. It's about me being a light that shines in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. It's about me being a blessing to others. Yeah. 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 I am blessed 11 months out of the yeah. year already. Yeah. Come on now. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. For most of us, it's Christmas year round. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But most, most of us, if it's something we want, we go get it. Yeah. Yeah. But when I was growing up, what you wanted, you waited until Christmas. Ain't nobody talking to No, you waited until Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. All year long, yeah. you was thanking God and Santa Claus. Yeah. Nobody yeah. talking now. Yeah. Right. For what you were going to get for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And you knew when Christmas showed up, you were going to make sure you had been good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Because you didn't want to get no switches for That's Christmas. Right. Right. Yes, Come on, old yeah. school. Yeah. No, no, no. You, no, you didn't want none of that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You was in expectation of what you had been asking for. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
But see, now it's different for us. That's right. Us flesh folks. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Whatever it is that we see or desire, we want, we begin asking God for it right then. And God says, hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to go and make that happen for you according yes. to my perfect will. Oh, yes, yes, sir. So by the time Christmas hit, the focus is no longer I. But it is he. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Come on. Uh-oh. Yeah. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Come on. Yeah. Now, it, no, the focus is no longer me now. Yeah. No, 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 no. So I don't have to give nothing for Christmas. Because right. I'm here to give for Christmas. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm here to be a witness yes. of how good he's been to me all year long. Yes. Come on, talk to me yes. in this yes. No, how good he's been to me all year long. And now I reflect it in the month that he came to the earth. Somebody, come on and talk to me, class. No, no, no. This is when I take my time now for to be the ultimate witness. I'm the evidence that God is a gracious and good God. So now I want to bestow all that goodness on others. Those who may have not been able to get Christmas all year long. Oh, come on, yeah. come on, class. Yeah. Come on, class. Yeah. No, 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 no. It is no. I'm obligated now for to be the blessing. I'm obligated for to be the witness now. Huh? Why? Because God has made me this way. He designed me to be this way. He designed me for to give out of what I have already. Ain't nobody in this house. Am I making sense, back? I need you for to understand. No, 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 no. We got to make sure that we really got the revelation yes. of the true meaning yes. of this holiday season. Yes. Because Jesus, he came as a gift. Yes. Yes. Talk to him. Yes. Although they brought him gift, he came as a gift. Yes. His focus was not the gifts. His focus was being a gift. Yes. Jesus, the light of the world. Yes. <laughs> Jesus said, no, I come. I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. I came as a gift. Yeah. So if Jesus is my Lord and Savior, yeah. and he is my example, so then I come, yeah. come oh, oh, watch yeah. that method, that they may have life yeah. and have it more yeah. Abundant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good teaching yes, right there. That's right. Yes, no, 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 no. The same way and purpose that Jesus came to do his business. Yeah. That's why he said, greater works yeah. you yes. will. Yes. Because yes. right. right. you're going to get the revelation of why you really here. Yeah. 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 You're going to get the revelation of why you really here. You are the light of the world. Amen. What you say. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that you were the light of the work, yeah, you the light of the world, yeah. but okay, okay, okay. Louise C.K. says this. Life isn't something you possess. It's something you take part in and you witness. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say it again because you write stuff. Life isn't something you possess. Life isn't something you possess. You can't possess life. You don't have that kind of power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's something you take part in. You are a participant of life. You don't own your life. That's right. God does. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You participate in the life that you don't possess. Yeah. Watch this. And you witness. Uh -huh. So you witness. You become a witness what everybody else is witnessing in your life. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Glory, God. Okay, 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 okay. You don't possess your life. No, you don't. God possesses your life. He owns your life. Yeah. You participate in this life. Jesus. Okay? You are an active participant in this thing called life. Uh -huh. All right? And as you participate, you become a witness of what you don't own. Okay. Okay, in other words, you become a witness. All right, I'll testify for myself. I don't throw you out there like that. Okay? Look, I become a witness of God's saving grace even when I ain't saved. Years and years ago, I'm riding around, I'm going, doing myself, feeling about good, you know, drink a little bit, smoke a little bit, and I'm like, mm, and I got my boys with me and whatnot, boy, you know, see the police, and I go, oh, shut get that thing, boy, and then going and whatnot, and man, you know, 
I'm over there tearing Durham, you know, doing, you know, doing something I should be doing, you know. And I get over there on Lawson Bridge, and it would rain a little bit. And, you know, got to slide, bust that curve. Yeah, took my rack of pee and all that stuff out. And then I get out, y'all with me, they start running, I start running, and then I realize my tag's there, so the police gonna get me in the house. <laughs> I turn around and run back to the car. Yeah. You know, about the time, everybody, everybody show up, and the chief, he shows up, you know, and most of the time the chief don't show up. Yeah. 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 But he shows up. Yeah. Nobody's talking. Yeah. Yeah. The chief shows up on the scene and whatnot, and begin to ask him questions. I begin to tell, hey, you know, you know, I don't know what's going on in my life, and da 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 you know, and whatnot. He's like, you got to start taking responsibility for your own actions. Jeez. Yeah. So he begins to give me a pep talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Amen. And he could have took me to jail. Yes. Yeah. And that's called fleeing and eluding. Yeah. That's a felony. That's right. that's Nobody right. saw. Yeah. All right, let me fast forward. So what, what happened? My life didn't belong to me. Yes, sir. Yeah. It belonged yeah. to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I became an active participant yeah. in what didn't belong to me. And I was able to witness yeah. his goodness. I share my story. I'm like, no, I'm a witness. I witness. I witness God's hand on my life, even when I won't serve. Tell somebody, I'm just a participant. That's it. I'm just a participant. Who happens to be a witness? So that's your testimony. Don't you tell me you don't have a testimony to win somebody over. Look back over your life on all the stuff that God brought you through. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's talking. Yeah. Yeah. Look back over your life and all the stuff that God has brought you through. Yeah. And when you get to talking to people, you got stuff to share. Yeah. You have evidence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have evidence yeah. of how gracious God is. Yes, Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, so I got to understand. I tell them, I, I, I have it beginning. Yeah, I, I have a beginning because verse 1 through 3 says, In the beginning was the word. Yeah. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the life that God ordained for your life. Yes. Jesus. Okay, how I said, that is a word, an active word that's spoken over your life that cannot be refused. That's right. Jesus. That's right. There is a word that's active over your life right now that cannot be refused. It cannot be denied. Jesus. Yeah, that word is working on your life right now. That's why stuff got to work for you, good. Yeah. Because there's an act of word over your life right now. Yes. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. So, okay, so the word, what God spoke over your life was with God. Yeah, yeah. My God. The word God spoke over your life was with, it came from you. Yeah. It originated from you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. It originated from God. Yeah. So it cannot be tainted. Okay, what God spoke over your life cannot be touched. Wow. Yeah. What? Wow. So you can go crazy, but the word spoken over your life can never go crazy. Go ahead. Y'all ready? Go ahead. And it's that word that can't go crazy and cause you to be back sane again. <laughs> Nobody's talking, Pastor T. Nobody's talking. That's why your grandma will remind you who you are when you're acting crazy. Yeah. Because that word that originated from God cannot be touched, cannot be tainted. Yes, Since he sir. begins to speak that word that cannot be touched or yes. tainted, and you come back to your senses. That's right. That's right. Oh my. Woo. Are y'all here? Yes. I feel my teeth coming on that fast. He says, no, 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 no. He was with God in the beginning. The word, Christ, the word, the crystal doom is down in my power, was with God in the beginning. In the beginning. What God spoke of your life was with God in the beginning. God had you and I in mind in the beginning. Why did he have us in mind? So we could be a witness. Yes. Yes. So we could testify to how powerful God is. Yes. What you say. Yes. So we could testify how loving God is. Yes. Well, we know God is love because one minute you can be mad as hate is, and the next minute you have his own no what? Yes. Come on, you ain't skipped so. That's no, that's God. Right. Yes. Because watch this, then you, you get a revelation. How good the Lord be to you, and it causes you to no longer be mad with the person you're mad with. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Just somebody say, I am evidence. I'm evidence. Who is that? Verse 3. Through
through him, all things were made. Mm -hmm. Huh? Through him, y'all, you read that? Through him, all things were made. Yeah. So whatever things I'm looking at, God made them, not man. Yes. Right. Yes. What's yes. revelation? Amen. So if God made them, they already mine. Yes. Right. If I want them. Yes. Go ahead. Woo. That's true. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All things were made. <laughs> okay, stick, stick with the text. Through him, through him, all things were made. You read? I can do all things through Christ Jesus yes. with strength. See, everything has to do with through. Can they say through, through, through? through, through. Uh, everything has to do with through him. He's in me. Yeah. <laughs> so if Christ is in me, all things that were made are in me too. Yes, yes. yes. yes Lord. So that's why you lay your hands on something and you change your mind about it. You got to release it. Because soon as you lay your hands on it, it's yours. Go because ahead. it's already inside you. Go ahead. Y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all see that. Y'all see Y'all see oh, No, 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 no. When I, when I put my hand on it, yeah. it witnessed back to me that it was mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I can decide if I want to keep it or not. That's yeah. right. Come on. Go ahead. If I take my side, I don't want to keep it. Now I need release. So whoever else right. wants it can have it. Yes. Are y'all here? Yes, sir. So when I put my hand on love, love already in me. Yes, That's why love got to manifest in my life because it's already in me. Yeah. 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 Amen. Y'all, yes. y'all here? Yes. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. So without God, nothing was made. Yeah. So nothing exists without God. Oh my God. So if nothing exists without God, I don't exist without God. That's right. Come That's on, right. Yeah. Jesus. I only exist because of God. Yes, yes. That's right. Yes. 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 I exist because of God. He created me. He made me. He planned my life. Oh my God. No, he planned my life. No, I have a beginning. Don't miss that. I have a beginning. Not when I came into time. Yeah. Uh, my beginning begin with God. Yeah. Yes. When God started talking, yeah. I begin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. No, no, no. I have a beginning. Yes. My beginning begin with God. Yeah. That can't be touched. Yeah. So the question is, you ready? Who are you? Go ahead. Come on. Who are you for real? No, who come on, Jack. What's your name? What they call you? They call me Jacob. That ain't your name. That's right. That's, that's not our name. You Israel. That's right. Mm -hmm. I made you a prince in the beginning. Jesus. Come on. Come on. I made you a prince in the beginning. Yeah. Life situations tried to shape you into being Jacob. But Jacob is not who you are. Because I didn't make you Jacob. I made you Israel. Yeah. Come on. I made you, uh, no, see, I ordained Israel. <laughs> Everybody else saw Jacob stealing. Yeah. I saw Israel taking what was he. Oh, come on. I ain't got no help in this house. Yeah. I don't have no help in this house. That best thing. I don't have no help in this house, but I'm going to teach it. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's Israel. Yeah. You, you're, you're not Jacob. Yes. Come on. <laughs> you, so the question, who are you? Wow. Are you what life has shaped you to be? Wow. Who are really you? Jesus. Who you are for real? Who God calls you? Because I promise you, who God calls you is who you better get in touch with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because once you get that revelation, mm -hmm. it's going to shift how you see your own self. Yeah. 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 Hello, somebody. Are you here today? Yeah. Shout out me a prayer. Yes. Shall I have a beginning? I have a beginning. And I'm going to find it. And I'm going to find it. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Are y'all learning? Yes. All right. Amen. Yeah, yes. man. Yeah, watch it now. Watch it. All right. I, I, I got to grab it. All right. I got to grab it. I got I to gotta get this. All right. I tell you, I'm designed to shine. I'm designed, I'm designed to, shine. to shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, no, say it again. I'm designed to shine. I'm designed to shine. Say it again. I'm designed to shine. I'm designed to shine. Boy, you ought to like that when you see it. <laughs> yeah. You ought to like that one. I'm yeah. designed to shine. Get a little attitude with it. I'm designed to shine. I'm designed to shine. 
You right? Cause you the guy in life. Wow. That's it. That's Lord Jesus. Lord, y'all yeah, don't see it. You don't see it. No, 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 no. I'm designed to shine. No, He designed me this way, and I gotta receive that. I gotta receive that I'm light. I got to receive that God is going to send me in some situations that I really don't want to be in. But once I've gotten the revelation that, hey, wait a minute, I'm light though. So I'm just going to go in here and shine a little bit and then leave. That's yeah. it. Come on. Yeah. That's all. I'm going to go in here and shine, then I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to handle this, keep it moving. Y'all ready for it? Yes, sir. Why? Because God designed me this way. All right, if he designed me this way, that means he equipped me this way. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, so I'm yeah. equipped to handle whatever's thrown my way. Yes, Are you here today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need you for to see it. All right, what's the witness? The witness is, is to see, give, or serve as evidence. Yeah, when you witness, you see. All right, you give as evidence. You serve as evidence when you're a witness. Yeah. You understand? Yes, so witness and evidence go hand in hand. Yeah. You can't be a witness without evidence, baby. Uh -uh. Go ahead. So if God say you're a witness, you know you got evidence. Wow. Yeah. What you say? You ready for that So if God want to take my witness to a new height, he got to provide new evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, God. Glory, God. Glory, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now, if you want to take my witness up, he got to provide new evidence. Yes. How you witness, how you evidence. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Are you here? Are y'all here? All right, so witness what? It's to see. I used to give or serve as evidence. I got to grab it. So we're looking at John. John is the witness, y'all. Because, watch this, after Malachi, there was no prophet until John the Baptist. Go ahead. I, I need to understand it. And he first appeared in the wilderness of Judea. Yeah. John the Baptist, he appeared in the wilderness of Judea. Yeah. Not in the city part, in the wilderness part. And he shows up. Talking about repent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Get yourself a job. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, he, I mean, he shows up. He shows up letting folks know. You know you ain't right. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. No, look, he, he said no. He said no, repent, man. He said, he said no. No, no. I'm talking about a total alteration of your mind. Yeah. You know when you get a shirt or some pants altered and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get it changed up. Right. Yeah, that's right. He's implying here, no, I need your mind to be changed. Totally alterated. Yeah. Yeah. I need your mind to snap, crack, and pop at faith. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear what thus says the Lord, something in you ought to rise up. Yeah. Something in you ought to start changing and say, wait, whoa, hold on. I got to get my judgment right. I got to get my disposition right. I got to get my affections right. I got to get everything about my life right. No, I got to get my mind totally changed. My mind got to be stayed on him. John the Baptist, he came preaching that kind of message right there. Yeah. He started out in the wilderness talking to nothing. Come on, man. And folks start showing up. Come yeah, on, yeah. Come on. Yeah. He kept, I'm talking about get right on saying, and didn't change his lesson. Oh, Y'all ain't, uh-oh. Now, regardless of whether they wanted to hear it or not, he didn't change it. Because that was the witness that God called him to be. Yeah. Call him to be a repentance witness. Wow. Yeah. Are you here? Yes, I tell you, they say, my time. My time. And dying. And dying. Must, match Must match my mission. My mission. All right, let's go to verse 6. You ever read it? It said, there was a man sent from God whose name was what? He's John, right? I'm talking about John. He came as a what? A witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. Oh, so that through his lifestyle, all might believe. Yeah. That's what folks looking at now. They're looking at your lifestyle. Oh, That's what make them believe or not believe. Oh, yeah. Hello? Yeah. There's some good stuff right here. There's a pastoral message. Uh -huh. Right? Yes, sir. I can tell. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, yes, sir. I can tell. You didn't make me shout yet. Yeah. Well, you hold on to your seats. You might shout a little bit. That's right. If not, God bless you. All right. Now, now let me say, he said, no. So, so, so that through him, all might believe. Because when you are a witness, okay, your job is to get evidence. All right. So your life, you got to live your life the way God has ordained for you to live it. And then other people look at your life and be like, I want some of that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know I want to be a partaker of that kind of grace there. Yeah. Come on, Paul. I want to be a partaker of that kind of grace right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Every time I see them, I'm telling you, they always happen. Yeah. I want some of that in my life right there. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. They don't never had the lemon look. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they always jolly. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> they, no, 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 no. They always got their pearly whites. Even the ones that's not theirs. They still got it. Watch verse 8, y'all. He himself was not the light. He wanted the light, right? He wanted the light. Christ is the light, right? Okay, so we got to remember that. We're not the light. It's Christ in us that's the light. That's right. That's right. So when people don't want to listen to us, don't be offended. Come on. Okay. Come on. They don't want to take your advice. Don't be offended. You, come on, come on. You're a witness of the light. You're not the light, though. You are a witness of it. You, you understand? No, 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 no. I, I got I got a grab there. Mm -hmm. Alright, watch this now. He said, oh, he said, he said, he himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Mm -hmm. I got I got a grab there. Alright, so watch this now. So his appearance and diet match the prophets of the Old Testament. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Alright, let me show it to you. Let's go to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 3. That's just gonna make more sense to you. Matthew's gospel. God's according to St. Matthew chapter 3. Because they all understand, you know, my time, my diet must match my mission. All right? I got I to gotta make sure that I'm dressed for the mission. Okay. I got to make sure that I'm eating right for the mission. Okay. Yeah. All right? I don't, don't want to get so caught up on, on, on the new way. Mm -hmm. All, right. Yeah. all right? John the Baptist like, no, no, no. I'm adopting the old way because the old way works. Yeah. Yeah. The prophets of the old, they dress like this. Yeah. All right. Sure, that's how, no. Elijah, that's the way he dressed. This stuff made out of camels hat. Not, not the fine camels hat. Yeah, right. Ain't nobody talking yeah, now. Yeah. No, it was that thick stuff yeah. that was going to endure. Yeah. Because when you're on a mission, you ain't got time to keep changing and dressing and finding That's stuff. Right. Right. Nobody's talking yeah, now. Yeah. No, 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 no. You got to go. You got to wear what's going to last. Yeah. I think that's the word. Are y'all here? Yeah. All right, verse 3, NIV. It says, this is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> the voice of one called in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair. Get out of here. And he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, okay, the church doesn't win the sleep now. Yeah. Oh, locusts and wild honey. First of all, locusts. It only shows up certain months out of the year. Yeah. So that means you can't get it all the time. Yeah. Now you tell me I can't get chicken all the time. You lost me right there. Yeah. 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 All right, you understand? All right, okay, wild, wild honey is always, it's always wildly available. Yeah. But it has a wild taste. Yeah. Yeah. But it's plentiful, though. Yeah. All right, talk to me. Yeah. All right, so your diet, when God is giving you a diet for your mission, that certain stuff, you will have to abstain from certain times of the year. Okay. Nobody thought. Okay. Certain stuff you can have certain times of the year. The locusts he can have certain times of the year. Then certain times he couldn't have. Because it won't avail. Yeah. That certain stuff that God don't want available in your life certain times of the year. That's your fasting time. Yes. Yes. Are y'all here? Yes. The wild honey, man. No, 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 no. It, it's something, it doesn't have the best taste, but it's fulfilling. So, so there are certain things in God that won't have a good taste, but it's going to fulfill your life. Yes. I am That's good right there. Are you listening to what I'm saying? No, it's going to fulfill your life, though. It's not always the stuff that tastes good, baby, that's going to allow you to grow right. Amen. Amen. No, no, no. Uh -uh. It's, it's not going to always be there. Okay, that's my diet. What's my attire, though? The whole armor of God. Okay. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. So when that old sucker spirit of heaviness trying to get on me, I put on the garment of praise. Yes. I wrap myself up with praise. I start praising God. Y'all ain't gonna talk. Yes. Come on, somebody. Because yes. praise becomes a magnified glass and it makes bigger what I'm praising yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a witness in this house today. Yeah. Oh, somebody. No, no. He, he says no. He says no. This was John. Now, this was John, and, and everybody wouldn't dress like that. Yeah. So when John dressed like it, it distinguished him. Mm -hmm. The 
question is, are you a distinguished witness or are you a fit-in witness? Do you look like everybody else? Now, do you look like everybody else? Because the truth is, you are different by design. And I got to see that. Now, I got to put on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that's, that's my attire. That's what I put on. Because when I put on the armor of God, when I dress like that, I'm dressing for the mission that God has me on. You understand? So if I'm a prayer warrior, then I got to wear the garments that, that, that is attached to prayer and intercession. Hello, somebody. And I'm going to have a strict diet. Yeah. Yes, sir. So at certain times, you know, that I got to abstain from certain stuff. Not always food. Certain things in my life, I'm not going to be able to have for certain seasons. That's right. I'm going to have to be all right with that. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm going to have to go through certain seasons where I don't watch no TV. Right. Amen. Uh-oh, you know, right. uh-oh. Uh right. Come on, ain't nobody yeah. talking. Yeah. And about yeah. certain seasons that I'm not going to be able to have no sweets, nothing sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. It has nothing to do with food. Right. No, 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 no. No, right. food is a symbolic part of the sweet stuff that I want in this world. I don't want the tough stuff that don't taste good. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's talking to me now. I'm just quiet over that one through here. You understand? No, I need to say no, 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 no. He said no. He said no. That's the symbolic part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you going without that jelly cake? Yeah. He said no. That jelly cake stuff that's in the word that you like read, do it out there. Read these beats that's in here. That stuff it don't taste good. That's what I want y'all. That's your diet. Are y'all here today? Yes, no, so when John was, he was that kind of person. But John's like, no, I'm, no, because I know my mission. Yeah. I'm preparing the way for the Messiah to come. Yeah. I'm not preparing the way for something ordinary. Yeah. I'm preparing the way for something extraordinary. Right. So if it's extraordinary, then I gotta dress and carry myself in an extraordinary way. Yeah. The truth is, what are you witnessing? What kind of evidence do you want in your life? Are y'all here today? Yes, sir. All right. All right. My last one. Let's go to verse 14. I got to close. I'm running out of time. I must expect my witness to come alive. Wow. Oh, Scott. He's getting ready to get good and good in that code. No. I must expect my witness to come alive. Tell them say, I must, I must expect, expect my, witness my witness to come alive. No, no. Nah, nah, I got to expect what I'm witnessing about to come alive. I need it to come alive. I don't need to witness about something and it don't come alive. No, 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 no. That's the wrong expectation. If I witness, if I'm witnessing that God is good, I need that to come alive. I need you to see it on my life that God is absolutely good. Yeah. Right. If I witness that God is a healer, I need you to see healing come alive in my life yeah. so you know that God is a healer. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all here? Yeah. Take that sound. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, watch verse 14. The word, wait a minute. You know what I'm talking about what was said in the beginning? The word became flesh and made, that's the key, made his dwelling among us. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he had to push through something to get here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. First time you prayed, I heard yeah. you. Come yeah. on. I heard, but that prince of Persia tried to hold stuff up. Y'all in, yeah. yeah. in the Bible? Yeah. Are y'all in the Bible? Yeah. Look, the Bible says, and the word became flesh and made his dwelling among Made. If, 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 if the dwelling was made, yeah. uh, he, he made himself live here. Yeah. He made himself show up. So he made himself something was trying to stop him from getting yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, I, I need to yeah. see it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So the word that God spoke of your life is making itself dwell among us. Yeah. That means it's fighting to get here. Okay. Oh, Glory to God. God. Why do you think the devil keeps trying to keep you so frustrated? Yeah. Because that word is fighting to get here. Yeah. And that word want to get here so bad, but that word needs your help. Yeah. It needs your expectation, though. Yeah. You got to expect what God said about your life to show up and yeah. give it Where we came from, made his dwelling among us, we have seen his glory. Huh? The glory of the one, the only said, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Oh, okay. So, so John expected what he was witnessing about to come alive. John was 
wasn't expecting him just to keep talking about Jesus coming. Yeah. 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 John was like, oh no, I expect this to show up. Yeah. I expect this word to manifest. I expect what I'm witnessing about to manifest. Yeah. I expect it to come alive. Because if it don't come alive, then it's not a true witness. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. We cannot be witnessing and not be expecting what we are witnessing about to come alive. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same, okay, same thing, same thing with, uh, with, 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 uh, with Mary. Uh -huh. Here Mary, you know, angel come to Mary. Yeah. He's like, hey, somebody happy in your life. Yeah. Uh -oh, yeah. Yeah. Girl, somebody happy in your life. I, I'm bought bar them past I'm bought bar them from 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 from, 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 from uh, the ministry avenue. Yeah, yeah. That's what the yeah, Lord told me yeah. to call. Right. He told me to call no place. He told me to call the ministry avenue. Wow. He's like, hello, Mary. I'm about to do something in your life. Yeah. I'm about to do something in your life. You ready? Go ahead, say it. Luke 135 say, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Okay, you missed it. No, the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you come for this witness. Go ahead. Go ahead. And it's going to overshadow you for this witness right yeah. here. Yeah. This is not going to be your doing. Let's go home, go with Fred. I'm ready to go. All right, no, it's not going to be your doing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's going to be the Holy Ghost. How you going to get set free? The Holy Ghost is yeah. going to come upon me. Yeah. How this going to happen in your life? Yeah. The Holy Ghost don't come upon me. Yes. Holy Ghost don't overshadow me. Yes. Yes. Because I'm expecting yes. my witness yes, to come alive. Right. Right. Story told about Frost and his snowman. <laughs> Y'all know Frost and the snowman? Yeah, yeah Frost, Frost and his snowman. Yes, Frost and the snowman, watch. He would show up when there was no hope. Yeah. That's the legend. A frost in the snowman. He would show up where there was no hope. Where this one scene, he shows up in this town called Evergreen. He shows up because there's no hope. There's no hope there. Everybody is so busy keeping rules till they have no hope. Go right. Go right. Go down. Go straight. Everybody is just following rules, but they have no hope. Their hope is gone. One little boy, he's staring out the window because he lost all his hope. And all of a sudden, he sees this hat. It's hat from in the sky. And it won't the prettiest hats. Yeah, the attire sometimes is not the prettiest attire. But the attire has power. So the hat's floating around. He sees the hat. And he, 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 he sees the hat, but he's too slow to get the hat. He don't move fast enough to get the hat. And the hat goes on. And the hat goes on to find the neighbor. Hat finds the neighbor. And the neighbor sees the hat. And runs outside, runs outside and starts chasing the hat. And the hat goes and takes him on a journey where the snow is in. Hat falls down on the ground. And the little boy looking for the hat. And then the hat pops up out of the snow. And when the hat pops up out of the snow, the little boy starts making some snowballs. Because if you're going to make a snowman, you must be believing it's going to come alive. That's right. That's right. If you're gonna make a snow man, yeah. you must believe yeah. it's gonna come yeah. alive. Yeah. I must expect my witness yeah. to come alive. Yeah. 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 We start making the snow, and then the hat jumps up and get on top of the top snowball, yeah. Yeah. and it comes alive. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes alive, the little boy starts playing with the snowman. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the little boy breaks the rules. When he gets back home, mom says, where you been? I decided to go play. She can't believe what she's hearing. Sounds like he's being disrespectful, but he's not being disrespectful. He just had a paradigm shift. His mind just snapped because he found a new witness. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you something? What are you expecting to come alive? Because if you're going to have a witness, you got to expect the witness for to come alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way Frosty the snowman knew that the heat was going to come, yeah, yeah. knew he was going to melt away. Yeah. He said, don't cry because I'll be back one day. Yeah. 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 Can I tell you? 
take our witness no for real for real yeah. because God watch this people believe through us yeah. when people see what God do in our life it make them believe yeah. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I get it I, I, I get it sometimes you just want proofs you be like man you know life pretty good oh good man then God be you know he'll be pushing me like nah I'm gonna give you this like, oh, look, man, look, I'm good right now. He's like, no, I want to take the witness up. Yeah, I'm witness pretty good right now. Yeah, it's an old witness, though. Wow. Hey, wow. Remember, Frosty, he moved from place to place. That's right. the nature. Yeah. Right. He just moved in one place. Yeah. Although he melted in this place, he came alive in another place. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. But that's, that's increasing the witness. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. That's why we still talk about Frosty right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Increases witness. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. No. In these coming weeks, God, He want He want to take our witness high. Yeah. Okay. But for our witness be high, He got to provide higher evidence. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y'all hear? Yes, sir. Watch this. Even if it appears to be uncomfortable, if God said, "Come on, I believe it," yeah, yes, accept. Yeah. So when you know that it's God saying, yeah. all you got to do then is believe it, yes, and that's going to sell it. Yes, so we believe it right now by faith. And in the next coming week, God going to take all of our witnesses. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. All right, I, I know, I know it's Christmas time. I, I get that, but God want to do something bigger than a Christmas gift. Amen. Amen. He won't get us. He won't give you something that's gonna be generational. When we be talking about twenty years from now. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's get ready to pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for everything that you're sharing today, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I just ask you to have your way. And I know you are doing some extraordinary things in this moment. I know y'all. I believe you for it. I know it. I've seen it. I've already seen it. So I thank you in advance, Lord, of how you're going to move in these coming weeks. It's going to be ridiculous. But we believe you, though, Lord. And, Lord, uh, we lock our faith in with your faith because your faith is perfect. And we thank you in advance for the increase. Lord, I thank you for saved, for souls saved all over the world. I thank you for that, that wall of crap going up high and high all around the world. I bless you in advance, Father, for all you can do. In Jesus' name. Come on, man. Amen. 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 All right, you ladies.